this is Trinell, your life enhancing specialist here with a Detra with a Monday motivation. Get your house in order. But first, you already know I'm finna hit you with that d -d 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 dad joke. <laughs> what is a boxer's favorite part of the joke? The punchline. <laughs> Ooh, get your house in order. So, Deidre, you know, we talk a lot. And here lately, we've been talking about getting your house in order. So tell us, why is it so important to get our house in order? And what does that mean? Uh, well, thanks for having me first, Trinell. And um, just want to let you know that my son is having lunch nearby, so he may interrupt every once in a while. Um, so it's important to get your house in order because first of all, peace of mind, once everything is, is taken care of, you got, you know, big tasks, um, accomplished, you can rest easy knowing that the big things, important things in your life, um, are settled in some way. Um, it's also important, you know, when it comes to, uh, your estate planning, um, making sure that everything you have uh, will go in the right place uh, when you're no longer here. So getting everything in order, it, it's always, it seems it's in the back of our mind all the time. Like we know we should do some certain things. We, we should get a will. We should do this. We should do that. But we just, for whatever reason, we don't really do it until some tragedy strikes. So I don't know if we feel like we always, you know, we're going to, I have time to do that. I still have time to do that. Or I have more important things right now, but you know, my brother recently passed from cancer and he did not have a will. Um, he didn't have any beneficiaries um, designated for his accounts. So uh, it got a little bit tricky trying to make sure everything went where it was supposed to go. And, you know, dealing with the loss is hard enough itself but then trying to settle your loved one's estate is, you know, additional stress and, and heartache that can be avoided if we just get things in order when we can. So, you know, it's a big wake up call for our immediate family. Um, so my mom, she, uh, you know, she was, she was very stressed out about it. And she was telling the rest of her kids, there's six of us, and Curtis is the first one uh, of the immediate family to pass. So she was telling the other five children, I am not doing this again. You better get it together. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> and, you know, it was, you know, I hate that we had to go through that tragedy, but it was the kick in the pants that we all needed because I had the will in the back of my mind, you know, setting up a trust for my son who's a toddler and, you know, and things like that. And so when this happened, it's like, okay, got to get it done right now. So uh, very soon after um, his memorial service, some of us in the immediate family just took off handling what we needed to do to make sure that if we pass, when we pass, that um, our assets and, you know, personal belongings are going to go where we want them to go. So there it's, there's, um, we're not putting that extra stress and burden on the family trying to figure out where things go, who gets what. So um, I met with an attorney and um, put the will together, um, you know, leaving things to uh, a trustee, putting everything into a trust until my son is of age. I even, you know, went down all the way to the personal effects, like who's going to get my jewelry, who gets my kitchen appliances, my furniture my artwork, my music, like all of it. So there's no, you know, my TV, there's no, there's no question who gets my car. <laughs> like, there's no question who gets what if something happens to me. And so, um, you know, I had been wanting to get life insurance for a while too. It's funny when I uh, was pregnant in 2019, I was like, okay, I got to get life insurance. I have a child coming and And then new mom, you know, no, that's no. A wind. No, no, and then in the pandemic, all of that just took, even though it's, no, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. 
even though it's so important, it took a back seat to just everyday life. So I got the will done. I got the will done and uh, got life insurance for myself, life insurance for my son. So now that that is done, I have so much more peace of mind knowing that if something happened to me tomorrow, my family would know exactly what to do. Who gets custody of my son? Who gets all of my money? You know, who gets all of my belongings? And he's going to be very well taken care of, you know, if that happens, of course. I, I hope I stick around for a long time and get to see him grow up and, you know, give me grandchildren. But you never know. That's why it's so important to get your house in order because you never know. My brother was 40 years old. Yeah, my brother was 40 years old, very healthy, very fit. And, and cancer struck. And he fought hard for almost two years. But it became too much. And you, you never know. You know, he had a long drawn out illness that caught us all surprised. But, you know, you could be gone in the blink of a sec, you know, in the blink of an eye. You could be gone today. You could be gone tomorrow. So what's your family going to do? What are your loved ones going to do? What are you going to do if you end up in a situation where you, you're still here, thank God, but you can't care for yourself or provide for your loved ones the way you had intended. You need to have a plan in place for those types of things too. Your loss of income, your loss of ability to work, or you know, you need to appoint um, a guardian for yourself as well. Because there are plenty of situ situations where someone suffers a medical emergency and they can't speak for themselves, they can't, you know, um, articulate their needs. Everyone needs an advocate in that sort of situation. So if you have children, you can make sure you appoint a guardian for your minors, you need to appoint a guardian for yourself and for your estate if something happens to you. Hey, I appreciate you sharing that wisdom. Hey, I'm right there with you getting ready to get all that stuff taken care of. I got the will. Just got to get the funeral directive. And hey, as you all have heard, get water. If you like this, hey, subscribe, like, share. And have a positive effect so you may empower generations.